Under. <laughs> oh my god. So it's uh, Wednesday, 8th of March. 2017 at <coughs> 9.09 a.m. 9.09 a.m. <laughs> so, um, I have to get ready to go to the uh, job center. Job center. <coughs> oh. uh, the past few days have been quite uh, undisciplined. Not where I would like. My diet was messed up. I didn't do voice practice. Um, so, so I was kind of like, uh, I bought this book. I've been buying audiobooks. I really like audiobooks. So I bought this audiobook yesterday called Without Conscience. Uh, it's by Robert Hare. He is a... Uh... Anyway, so it's about psychopaths. <laughs> psychopaths. Um, uh, so... Uh, I watch videos by this YouTube user called Peace and Harmony, and sometimes I think I think she, uh, I heard her mention his book. So I was I was listening to that yesterday. I think I was listening for almost three hours on that book. That book is about eight and a half hours or something, eight hours or something. So I, 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 I listened to almost three hours, maybe more. <gasps> so. I've been listening to lots of audiobooks. Also, um, um, there's this book by John Bradshaw called Homecoming. It's about reclaiming and uh, healing your inner child or championing your inner child. That's about uh, three hours. It's not a big book, audiobook. So I, I listen to that. That's good because he's got like a meditative exercises like in the in the book, but I didn't want to get the paperback version as well. So, <laughs> so I've been I'm becoming a big fan of audiobooks. I'm becoming a big fan of audiobooks because at the moment I can't, I find it very hard to. I mean, I'm lazy. And, oh, I just find it hard to concentrate. And reading seems like such a big chore at the moment. So just sit, you know, just uh, listen to the audiobook. It's like listening to a podcast or, 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 or watching a YouTube video, but you're just listening to a podcast. Um, <clears throat> so Audible, Audible. I, I recommend Audible. I will do a uh, I will do a video of my Kindle and Audible. Uh, collection, book collection. Uh, I don't know on my phone. I can record my phone on the screen. And, you know. So I may think of doing that. Uh, um, oh, my skin is all messed up. I haven't been eating well, and I'm not really sleeping well. Probably it's like. I haven't been taking care of myself. Um, I have not been taking care of myself. Oh, today, um, yeah, I've been neglecting the veggie stew. Like for today, today morning, <coughs> you know, before I ate my breakfast, I actually prepared my veggie stew. So I got up around five today. Um, and I prepared my veggie stew. So all I have to do is uh, cook it. Um, so it may, you know, so this way I, I won't, I won't, uh, make any excuses. Oh my God. I didn't, I didn't know if I was going to make a video today, I just, uh, 
I was thinking like maybe if I make a video I'll upload it to my backup channel as a private vlog or something I don't know I don't know if it's always a good idea making these very personal vlogs I don't know I'm not sure I'm not sure but uh, I was thinking maybe I'll just uh, make private vlogs that's for me uh, or, uh, you know, I'm gonna stop making videos, I don't know. I don't know my friends, I don't know. So the cool thing about audiobooks is you can get all the classics, philosophy, history, all of these, uh, some of these books are like 126 hours. I think William Gibson's The Decline and Fall of the Roman Empire. I have the book with me. It's, not, it's a gibbon, right? No, Edward Gibbon. Edward Gibbon. His book is like 126 hours. It's like seventy dollars, and like uh, you know, Sylvia Platt's uh, book. What's that? The Bell Jar. Uh, it's like twenty something, but it's but uh, some of the books are read by famous actresses, and so that one is read by Maggie Gyllenhaal. Uh, you know, so I, I might get that one, and you know, like Wuthering Heights, like. I haven't read the book or anything but um so there are like so many versions of that book some of them are read by the prices vary like one book was like three dollars or four dollars and uh, <laughs> and another one is like fifty dollars thirty dollars because it's read by someone else so depending on who who reads the book the the price of the audiobook also varies so, like Kenneth Branagh, he does a lot of, uh, he, he's done quite a few audiobooks. Mm, so, you know, you can get books uh, read by celebrities <laughs> or, uh, yeah. Why not? Jeez, I've been doing this for like how many minutes? I don't know, I just don't feel that looks good. Uh, I look, I look like crap. Oh, well, <laughs> My weight today was 64.5. But you know, I haven't been taking care of my diet. And, you know, I need to do more. I need to do more. Where the hell is that cap? Where is it? Oh wait, it's already put the cap. I feel like my face is fat. So. so yes. Oh, I did order some Blu-rays. I ordered The Fugitive. You know, that was the first movie I actually saw Harrison Ford in. I saw it in the cinemas. Uh, no, no, with my friend. I mean, like, I, I saw this, like, uh, years ago when I was young, um, uh, when I was at the United Arab Emirates. Uh, I had other friends back then. <laughs> um, I love that film. I thought it was so good. I have it on iTunes, but I, I, got, you know, I got the Blu-ray, and I also got Muppets. The latest Muppets. Uh, what's got that actress Amy something? And I got the other film was um, what was the other film I got? I got Muppets. I got. Let's see. Oh, what women want? <laughs> no, that's uh, Helen Hunt, uh, Mel Gibson. Uh, I like Helen Hunt. I think she's a good actress. No, I, I love her, the, the movie, as good as it gets. I thought her acting in that was very good. So, I mean, that's like a romantic film. I thought it was a feel-good romantic film. Uh, it's one of those feel-good ones. Um, so, the reason I got three movies was because if you buy two, you get one free. So, I paid, I paid, uh, 
$31.03. The delivery was $5.07. The three movies were $25.96. Yeah. No, no. I'll buy either movies and books. And <sighs> Maybe we should be um, getting a job and working and things like that. I uh, feel guilty not contributing. I feel like I feel like I'm much. I'm very lucky. Like I, I well, uh, well, I. <laughs> it's, it's broken. Yeah. I feel like I'm. I'm so fortunate. Uh, you know. Yeah, I grew up. I, I was born probably in unfortunate circumstances, but. Um, not that bad. I mean, maybe I was bo I wasn't that born in bad circumstances as the you know yeah it was a difficult place, but um, I feel like I am very lucky in so many ways, so privileged. Not, I don't feel like I deserve what I have. Like I am in a to quote Christoph Kozlowski, he said he said that this is what he said about himself. Uh, I am in a much better place in life than I deserve to be in. I don't know why, what he meant by that, but um, I feel like this. Oh, shit, this is a gray hair. <gasps> the gray hair. Is it gray hair? Gray hair. Gray hair. <gasps> oh my god. Anyway, so I feel like I am. I'm in a much better, I, I, I don't know exactly what he meant, but I, I feel like I'm in a much better place in life than I deserve to be in, uh, because I don't think I have really, uh, oh, the, the, the video of like four gigabyte limit, so I don't feel like I haven't, I, haven't, I don't feel like I've earned the freedom and privileges I do have, so I feel like, you know, I feel like, you know, like a, like, like a freaking leech. Like I haven't contributed, I haven't given back. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't deserve what I have. You know, that's another thing, the internet isn't working at the moment. Um, uh, you know, internet. It'll, it'll, I'm using my uh, mobile. The mobile! The mobile. Um, so I, I feel like I, I have to contribute or I have to earn my privilege, my freedom, my freedom, my freedom. Oh. So that's what I, I don't think that's what I buried. Let me see. Huh, yes, it's me. I, I'm just wearing a, no, no. I want to wear a jumper because it's cool today. So, yeah, just, <laughs> just a normal thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, I need to. Yeah, my weight was 64.5, but I'm not happy with uh, my lack of discipline and uh, lots of things. I'm, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm unhappy with lots of things in my life. I'm very unhappy with lots of them. Lots of things. I could improve a lot. Yes, I could improve. Anyway, so. My I finished the uh, uh, appointment. I laid down for a couple of jobs. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go home. Uh, I'm a bit tired. Uh, tired. Uh, wasn't that bad. Oh, I'm a bit anxious around people, but... <laughs>